Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. First and foremost, Merry Christmas everybody. And to celebrate Christmas, we're doing a very big giveaway special. I actually want to give away $500 this Christmas. So there's no ifs, no buts. At the end of the 26th, we're giving away $500 worth of crypto. And all you have to do is press the like button on the videos that are coming out from now to the 26th. And also make sure you comment under every single video to get the highest chance. Make sure you're subscribed and join the discord so i've told you a lot of things right now to do i know there's three or four steps and it might be much but it's just liking the video commenting something down below being subscribed and joining the discord a link for this in the description below and make sure you say something right here you know make sure you put something in the chat room and yeah uh the 26th will announce a winner it's gonna be pretty cool unless you know something really crazy happens and for example we have like 10 comments we won't, but most likely we'll announce a winner the 26th. That can be really exciting. So make sure you do this all and let's go through. Digital Assets Daily on Twitter said, XRP Investor, though you may have been here for years, the media has now only just begun. It's finally happening. Now is the time to be strong. Hold tight and benefit from your efforts. And I checked the video out here and it is actually quite splendid. So this guy right here that you see in the middle actually acknowledges how good Ripple is and what they're trying to do to replace this Asian Swift system that we've been dealing with here. So this guy is very woke, like Trevor here says, this guy actually understands, definitely so. So we're gonna quickly watch this little one minute video and then move on with some more crypto news. Well, we have to remember that XRP is a different, a specific kind of crypto. It's not the crypto anybody dreamed of happening in 2009 when uh, crypto first entered into the world. But it's a brilliant technology in the sense that it's, it's a mediated technology, it's a proprietary technology. And, and a lot of these sort of uh, regular man on the street style in, investors in crypto are not interested in it for that reason. That doesn't mean it's, it's not going to change the world. I think it's an extremely important technology because it's, it's, it's thriving off the failures of this antique SWIFT system, as you mentioned. You know, our legacy financial systems are incapable of dealing with uh, the new age of, of globalization. So it's, it's, take, it's taking crypto to kind of, kind of fill this market niche um, to make these be beautiful things happen. And, and our XRP has been really valuable in that. Well, we have to remember that XRP is a different, a specific kind of crypto. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you understood that a little bit. Hopefully you've woken up to this as well, because this is just really amazing to hear. To me, this sounds like music in my ears. Really, it's crazy. But talking about valuations of Ripple, you must also be wondering about some valuations of XRP. Well, here's a tweet from CryptoBull2020. He says, XRP on its way to 12 cents. This is not the time to sell for me. It is actually the time to accumulate. And right now, the price of XRP is right around 18.8 .8 cents. Definitely quite low. Um, lower than some people expect it to happen. But Crypto Surge actually comments under this tweet and says, hmm... Yesterday, you said it will be $50 by summer. Which one is it going to be? And now, even though this discussion makes no sense at all, I do get both sides of, of any story I can think of. Wait, let me explain it to you. So the crypto bull here is actually really sometimes saying that we're going to go up in price like crazy, sometimes some ridiculous price predictions, and sometimes he's saying we're going down. But his general idea is always we're going to make money through XRP, albeit that the price goes down now and we buy more, or albeit that the price goes up and we, you know, eventually sell our coins or get a, a you know, rich on paper. Crypto Surge, however, is, is sort of the, the lesser faithful XRP holder, you know, not really a most likely. I'm just making an assumption here. I'm going to explain my assumption afterwards, so please just hold through and listen. Crypto Search here could potentially be a person that's not as faithful in XRP, does not have that much of a, you know, dream goal through them, or is either very educated or not educated with technical analysis at all. So the third, or I guess the last option would also be that he just wants to expose Crypto Bull, that he doesn't like him, because what he's doing here is just really useless i mean he's saying it's on its way to 12 cents where does it come from no source given it's not necessarily helpful but i do get its general message of saying if the prices go down we buy more just to get your average price down lower so i get that 12 cents specifically though i don't think that was necessary and crypto surge's perspective he's saying 50 dollars next day 12 cents which one is it always hard to see you know but that shows again the nature of some of these predictors or, or price predictors out there they're useless just completely miscellaneous and 
Yeah, you know, I, I don't put it to enough. I don't attach any value to them at all. You know, price predictions, they don't do anything for me. But, yeah, that's just me. Yeah, it's a good question, though. You know, will it be $50 by summer or will we go down to $0.10? Cents? He doesn't say anything about when it's going to happen or if it's not going to rebound anytime soon. But I get the the question that Crypto Surge asks, like, you know, what are you thinking now, Crypto? Why are you changing your opinion all the time? Yeah. Roses on the Moon on Twitter says, The stock markets are closed early for the holidays. XRP Ledger never closes. Welcome to the new world. And it's actually just a really interesting thesis well i would just say a really interesting thing i like to you know concern myself with or talk about is that xrp could never go down or or stop you know or so nobody could really stop it out there and that's also an interesting part about this newer generation that we're of things that we're seeing or newer technology that we're seeing it can all not be stopped you know since a lot of these things are quote-unquote decentralized there's no central entity or party that can just say like you know what Let's quit it. You know, let's let's make this not happen anymore. Let's let's take it down. And and that's a pretty interesting part, but also, you know, as time and you know, a lot of things in the world work, time waits for no man is what a lot of people say, right? The stock market does wait for man, right? And XP Ledger does not either. You know, they just keep continuing on. Either be there or be square. That's I think how it should work though. You know, the earlier you're up, the better. In that case, and not with a stock market of like, oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, we're closed right now. You know, why would you close it if you don't have to in this case? And I think that's also a pretty interesting thing to talk about. I know this is just a very small part of the whole pie, and you can debate about why stock markets close this, that, this, that. The general point I'm trying to make is XRP and the real movement with newer technology here is just creating things that never have to close. You know, payments at, at one point could have only be done, of course, face to face. After a while, payments start to go overnight. And for example, if you want to make a bank transfer, it's going to take a couple of working days. Why? Because it can't be done otherwise. Right? At one point here, maybe, for example, through XRP and stuff, these payments can just go on 24-7, 365 to 366 days a year. No stopping it because everything can be done, um, you know, without manual help needed. Leonidas Hajiloizu. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. I've tried a thousand times already, but still. He says, preparing a quarterly XRP report usually took up seven to eight hours of my time. If you have no idea what he's talking about here, Leo actually makes a quarterly XRP report, of course, every quarter. And he says here that it takes about seven hours of his time every single time he does that. But he's now debating about making a yearly report, even though that would probably take more than a day to make. Do we think it's worth doing that? That's the question he's asking us all. And he's already getting some tips here from people who would like to see this. Uh, just, just like to see this, what was it called again? This this yearly report coming out. I also do think it is actually going to be quite good if he could get such a thing going. The only thing I'm kind of debating about is if it's going to be worth it for the, you know, the, the, the reward he's going to get. Because for all of us here on YouTube, it's going to be very nice if he does this, right? Because we could just go over the report and, you know, give him some credit for that and also just really educate all the people. But on the contrary, you know, the... The, the profit to work ratio might not be worth it completely for him, but that also depends on exactly what he wants, you know. If he's just an advocate of XRP, you know, like a supporter of XRP community, you know, he's within the community, he likes to talk about it, likes to help out people, likes to educate the people, and this is because he wants to be a good person, I really would recommend him to do it. Just because he's going to please so many people with this report, it's going to be thousands of people are going to be checking it into it. And definitely when I share it, there's also going to be, you know, another couple of thousand people who are going to be watching it. There's going to be other YouTubers going to be, of course, covering it as well. So the coverage is definitely settled. Only question is maybe the financial gain. I don't really know exactly what he planned on that, if he planned anything on it, because I don't think that's going to be worth it for a whole day of work. But, you know, I definitely think it's a good gesture if you were to make it, because I would definitely enjoy it myself. Also, go comment on this poll then if you agree or disagree. By the way, are you guys all following me on Twitter? Because I'm seeing here the, these followers increasing. I'm not posting too much, by the way. I post mostly just my videos. But I want you guys to go follow me so I'll post some more more things on here. Make sure you just quickly give Twitter a little follow right there. And we almost at 3,000. Pretty cool. I uh, didn't really expect to ever, you know, increase in followers on Twitter. It went like overnight that we just started to, you know, get a little bit of a, of a ball rolling. But I think it's pretty cool. So make sure you go and quickly follow me. At Tritex6 on Twitter says, good things come to those who hold. It's coming, boys, 2020. And that's actually going to reply to Assets Daily, who we're covering every single day right now, it's looking like. But he said, XP Investor, please take a moment to watch. Again, this video is a reminder. 
Be patient. All good things come to those who wait. An entirely new financial highway is being built. We know it begins in 2020. And this is actually a video we've watched a couple of times already. Uh, but as XRP run it up, I think XRP run it up 2589 here says, Payment systems when Ripple first started rebuilding the plumbing. Joel Cass, look at that. <laughs> It's a pretty fun video right there. I just like these sorts of gifts, you know, that, that that have a little bit of a story that people know how to utilize. I just, I always like that. When people always fast forward his video. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. But yeah, the, the, the big the sentence about these videos are always like, the plumbing is here, you know, just fixing everything. But it's pretty cool. We've watched that video like five or six times on the channel. Let's watch it again, though. Well, how, well you know, why not? Why not? You can been a little slower or of digital assets has been a little slower or I mean you could see it as being incredibly quick or incredibly slow depending on what time frame you think is reasonable I would say revolutionizing international finance is not something that you would expect to happen overnight but it is a multi-step process and I think the first problem that we encountered I mean we kind of thought that we could take a direct line to settling with a digital asset and I think a lot of people thought that well now we have digital assets let's just use them for payments and that'll be that Part of the problem is that the payment systems are just not capable of supporting instantaneous settlement. So if you think about a payment system like SWIFT, where you just kind of push a payment message out, and you don't necessarily know the entire path, and you don't know the fees until later, uh, you don't even know if the destination account even exists until sometime later when the payment is actually processed by the, the, by the destination institution. There's no way that you could build instantaneous settlement into a system like that. So we kind of found ourselves in this situation where if we wanted institutions to settle their international payments with a digital asset, we first had to rebuild the payment messaging, sort of the plumbing. So yeah, uh, we've seen this video, I think I've seen it at least 40 times already uh, in my life now. Yet his message is always clear, you know, the way everything was going right now, it's cool, it's okay. But there's so many flaws, and if they were ever to create a digital asset way of doing things, you know, the instantaneous way, they had to also recreate the messaging system because how, it, how it's going right now is just flawed. It's, it's not working, and it could have never occurred, instantaneous transactions. Now, next video, I want to briefly talk about uh, articles that I've seen come by like 10 or 15 times right now with a lot of views, a lot of attention as well. Ripple XRP price lost 95% in two years. Is it time to get bullish? And... XP could drop by 98%. Uh, These types of articles are really something I am interested in just because there's so many people who agree yet debate and, you know, back and forth, like, the price are going down. Should we sell them? Should we sell the coins? Should we be afraid or should we buy more? Or, you know, what, what's exactly my stance upon that? I would like to explain to you guys. And uh, I also saw this. Oh, no, okay, we also covered this already in our previous video. This was from Vitsevind. He said, I made this for Tone... Uh, a special website to explain to Tone what XRP is like. After extensive research, XRP has finally been exposed for what it really is. XRP is exposed as the most awesome crypto Ooh. in the world. Ah, yeah, so yeah, pretty cool. And then you can read more on the blog if you press read why. So yeah, pretty interesting website. I like that he made that. <laughs> I do enjoy that, but yeah. Guys, that was it for my Christmas first video. There's going to be a ton of videos coming, so you don't have to be lonely for Christmas. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. But again, if you want to talk with some people, you know, let's, let's get a community going a little bit. Join the Discord. It's going to be cool. It's going to be crazy. Just talk with each other about some sort of different things, whatever you guys want. So make sure you go check it out, join it, and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody, and have a very, very jolly Christmas.